The NHRA Gator Nationals in Gainesville, Florida, we're ready for the semifinal round of Funny Car Eliminator as Trip Shoemake heats up the tires on Johnny Loper's little horse. Right alongside of him is Dale Baldy in the Ward Eagle. The burnout is a very critical move for all race cars in drag racing. The tires designed to operate at the hottest temperature possible, and the way they get them hot is to literally burn them. They get them smoking, they get them spinning, and it provides the traction for the high horsepower engines to get these cars down the racetrack in the quickest possible elapsed time. Dale Poldy coming in in the far lane of the track against Trip Shoemake. We saw Shoemake earlier just as pleased as he could be with his big upset win over the world champion Raymond Beetle in the Blue Max, but he's got a tough one on his hands here in the War Eagle. And you can see at the middle of the course, it is Dale Poldy beginning to pull it out, and he does. It is Dale Poldy, 633, 223 miles an hour, not the quickest, but enough to get him into the finals. As we watch again, you'll see Poldy and Shoemake basically side by side for the first few hundred feet, and then in the middle, it is Poldy all the way. Dale Poldy with a sigh of relief. All weekend long, everybody's been talking about the five second funny cars, the number one qualifier, the number two qualifier, and waiting silently and sneakily in the middle of the pack was the War Eagle. Yeah, I think we had five in the car, and we had it in during a qualifying, but the car wasn't hurting any parts, and I think we'd just rather have it consistent throughout the eliminations and stuff and see if we can get by that way, because usually the real quick qualifying cars, with a few exceptions, don't end up winning the races. It's usually the consistent cars that win the race. And we'll find out who's the most consistent of this pair as Gordy Bonin comes up against Kenny Bernstein. Bernstein with a big break in the previous round as he smoked the tires off the starting line, but won the race as Don Prudhomme crossed the center line. He smokes it again, but this time it is Gordy Bonin straight and true through the quarter mile. A fine 6.12. You remember Steve talked to Gordy, he said they were going to work on it a little bit. They did, it went quicker. 6-12 for Gordy Bonin to put him in the finals, and he's got to be favored over Dale Poldy, who recorded an elapsed time of 6.33 seconds right here in the semifinals. You see Bernstein completely out of shape, Bonin heading straight down the track. They'll be ready for the finals.